What's up, y'all? Respect the Chat Podcast. You gonna put some respect on it? Episode 19. Let's go. We're all back in the building. Let's go. I'm here. Obviously, you heard the voice of the angel. <laughs> Richie. What's up, everyone? Richie Lug Ranch. I'm glad to be back. I missed it. I feel like Richie Lug Ranch is a perfect lug nickname. Lug Ranch? Him, but I don't even know why. <laughs> What's a Lug Ranch? Oh. Not important. That's what right. you use to take a tire off of a car. Yeah. Frank is here, you hear that voice. It's nice to be back in the studio. Yes, sir. Got to. Really happy to be back, man. Yeah, I, I've i been waiting all week to do this. I, yes. I, 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 I missed stuff. last week. We got to get this thing going. Let's do this right this week. What you got, Rich? What you got on the agenda? I'm going to, right off the bat, I want to give some respect to a local athlete. Yes. Uh, Mark Ronaldo. He played football at the Delaware Valley Warriors High School, but we all went to. Mm-hmm. He went to ESU. Uh, last year, he suffered a, a really bad infection in his knee, and uh, he almost he almost had to end up losing his leg. But uh, they, I think he ended up going through six surgeries, and uh, he he's back. He came back this year. He's healthy, and uh, I just want to wish him luck. You know, a healthy a healthy season, and uh, we wish shout, you the best, man. I'm, shout I'm, him out. I'm happy. Him out. I'm happy that you're back. Yes, shout him out. Definitely an ESU alum over here, so he's proud. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, um, respect I, to Mark Ronaldo. Get, I, yo, my prayers are with you, Mark, man. I hope you kill it. I'm happy for you, bro. You deserve it. Um, we'll definitely be, we'll definitely be thinking of you over here. Respect the chat. What else we got on the agenda? Let's go right into ranking uh, the AFC. Okay, yeah, definitely. We gotta, we, we gotta get back to that. We gotta do two, two, hit, two hit divisions me, this week. Hit me and Frankie with those teams. All right, let's, let's go. You know, right. you know we don't got it up. Let's go straight to my division. All right, let's do it. Let's go to AFC North. AFC North. We're going to rank them. Hit me off. Rattle we got off. The Steelers. Yes. Ravens. Mm-hmm. Bengals. Browns. Rank that division. Wow. Okay. Say it again. <laughs> really? Here I go. Here I go. All right. Let me hear this, Mike. Okay. Pittsburgh. I'm going Pittsburgh finishes first. Okay. Big Ben's healthy. I think they have a really good team. You know? I think he's not healthy, though. Okay. I'm just saying. It, he got a concussion. All right. But he's going to play, gonna play the start of the year. I know, but Big Ben's health scares me this year. Okay. I like Big Ben. I like A.B. I like Le'Veon Bell. I like Jesse James. I like Juju smith shoots. Offense is great. I think the defense is really good, too. I really do. Um, so I think the, I think it's um, Baltimore. And then I really want to say the Ravens, Rich. I really do. But I think Cleveland finishes in second. Really? I think you think they're going to make that big of a jump? Yes. Going from 0-16 yes. to being second in that division? I think Cleveland's going to sign my, my main man, Des Bryant. I, I think, think that's going to happen. I think they're going to have a great receiving core. I think they're going to have a good tight end, solid quarterback. Todd Haley is the offensive coordinator now over there. I like it. It's a young, hungry defense. I don't know. Maybe Hard Knocks got me juiced up for them. I don't know. But that's what I think. I think it's the... Uh, Steelers, I think the Ravens and Cleveland battle that, but I think Cleveland finishes in second. The Ravens and then uh, the Bengals. Bengals last? Yeah, Bengals last. What you got? I got to go. Baltimore. I think Baltimore oh. could fin- Listen to me. Let's hear me out. Speak I think on, Baltimore could take this division. And I always do this. I, I, I give their records at the end of the year. I think this division is going to be very close. All these teams, I think, are going to be a really good division. Holla at me, Paul and Spring. Holla at all of us, bro. We drink a lot of this. Sponsor us. Are you us. kidding me? He's trying to be our first sponsor. sponsor? I'm just Poland saying. Poland Spring? We like it, Poland Spring. I mean, sponsor. I got a bottle right here, too. Let him know, Rich. Put bro, it right in front of I me. can't put that on YouTube. Oh, my God. You guys are the worst. Why can't you promote you, Promote what you want to be promoted? It's free advertising. Wouldn't you want us yeah. to pay it? No, maybe they will pay us at some point. Yeah, Rich. I don't know what just happened, but we'll let me get back. Ravens. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go to Ravens. You ain't getting paid yet. Got to shout we like you. I'm going Ravens. I think they're gonna finish ten and six. Over the Steelers? Yes. I just I I think they have a better defense than the Steelers. Right. And if Joe Flacco can't make anything happen with this wide receiver core he has, mm-hmm. and they have the the running backs go deep. They got Alex uh, Alex Collins. Mm-hmm. They got this Kenneth Dixon kid. Yep. And they still got uh, Buck Allen. So I like to I like they're I like the their field, but yes. I like all all talented guys. I agree. So I. Th- if Joe Flacco mm-hmm. could have an okay year, mm-hmm. I think they win that division. Okay. At ten and six. Okay. But I'm putting the Steelers right there at nine and seven. 
only because of Big Ben's health. Right. I think he's. I think we said this last year, Mike, in fantasy, like, yeah. oh, you take AB, you gotta worry about Big Ben's health, and he ended up playing a whole year last year, Big Ben. Right. I don't think that's happening this year. Okay. I think he misses four to five games this year, okay. and that's gonna make them finish at nine and seven. So they're only one game back in that division. They're gonna be really close. All right. I think the Cleveland Browns are finish. gonna finish third. Yeah. At five hundred, eight and eight. Okay. I'm telling you, this whole division is going to be me one game apart all the way. Yeah, I and, like that. And then the Bengals, the Bengals, I just, I don't like that team, man. I just, they. I think the Bengals get a little bit better because I think they push Joe Mixon more. I think they use A.J. Green more. I think they have to. They have to. And uh, what's his name? The, the first round pick they had last year, John Ross, is that his yeah, name? Yeah, John Ross is he healthy. He has to come up big. Eifert has to stay healthy. Right. You know what? Shout out to, I, I, shout out I'm to Big be... Ross from the Telcon. <laughs> now I got both that, of you in that league. Up, right? The Easy Money Squad is coming for you, Ross, got, and all, all of you out there. August 26th at 1 o'clock. Let's live draft. Go. We're all going to be there. Let's go. But let me, uh, let me tell you how mad I am that I only wanted to be in one league. Yeah. And how many I would have happily stayed in Josh's league rather than joining two different <laughs> leagues. The whole point of leaving Josh's league was because I, I only wanted to do one league. Now yeah. somehow miraculously I'm in three. Shout out to Ant. He got us in one. Shout out to Ant. Rich got us in one. So that was the two added. Yo, gotta, I'm in five leagues this year. Got to do Josh's five. league every year. Crazy. Got to do Josh's league, but you're right. If you would have known, you would have. Then you would have just stayed. Well, I happily stayed. I love that league. <laughs> Definitely. And me and Rich are in, the, in my work league together. And then um, Ants and the fantasy and the family league. Yep. We got a ton of leagues. Fantasy okay. heavy over here. All right. Is, is, is it my turn? Yes, yeah, your turn. Okay, but I, I, I need to go over something with you first. Yeah. Because I have a real beef. Oh, of course. All right, let me hear it. Okay, so let's let's compare the Ravens the and the Steelers. It's like a beefcake. <laughs> Defense is Ravens defense is better than the Steelers. Okay, hold okay. on. Wait, wait, wait. Relax. Relax. You want to you compare? I'm ready. Who has the better quarterback? If Joe Flacco can have an okay the Steelers, year, the Steelers, the Steelers. I'm gonna say Joe Flacco is better this year, just because of Big Ben's health. I think that's gonna be a factor this Who, year. Who's the Steelers rookie? They have Mason the, Rudolph. Okay, they got I, Josh I think, Dub, Dobbs. I, I think Mason Rudolph is better than Joe Flacco. <laughs> You're crazy. Okay, so now let's move You're on. Crazy. Who he has, has a, a better Who has the better wide receiver court? And it's not even close, okay? You don't even have Listen. to answer. Who has the better running back court? And it's not even close. Listen, you did a podcast last Ricky week, Beef Cage, all by yourself with Pat, and you asked him a question about the Steelers. Yes. He said, hey, a Steelers fan, he said with his own mouth, every time the Ravens play the Steelers, they get out coach. The Ravens, I'm not, I'm not they're, saying they're, they're players, not I'm, I'm the not, Steelers I'm not, every week, though. I'm not saying their players are better than the Steelers. I'm just saying. They're gonna have. I, I just think, like yeah. Pat said, they're they get out in that you're situation. A fan. That's only because you're a fan. But they don't. You think lose. they're gonna have a better year? Like if we look at that record, the Ravens don't win that, right? It's maybe tied or something. If if not, I would say the Steelers have the edge, in in games played. So I understand right. Pat it's said that. It's just that they should blow and them he, out when they he, don't. We, listen, here's the thing. As a fan, also you watch your team different than everybody else does. Pat wants the Steelers to win every year. So when something goes a little wrong. Hat, trying to tell me that Mike Tomlin is a good coach. Wait, we'll get on that. All right, let, let me let me rank my. Uh, I love you, Pat. Go, go Mike ahead. Tomlin's a good coach, bro. I'm going Steelers. Right. Browns. Okay. Ravens. Yep. Bengals. Yep. Copying off your boy, copycat Frank. I mean, that's pretty simple, though, right? Yeah. It's not simple. Not you guys are well for this. The Cleveland rankings. move is definitely bold by us. I don't think so. I think they not got it. so much better. They did, but they got to prove it now. Yeah, they gotta okay. put it. They gotta yeah. put it all together I mean, on the field. Uh, Ravens definitely got better though. They added Craig Tree. They, they they added John, John Brown. Brown. Willie Sneed. Running backs are good. They added Willie Sneed. It's just about Joe Flacco playing. The defense is good. If Joe Flacco could have a an tough, okay yeah. year, I'm yeah. not saying a good I agree, year. Rich. Tight he has an okay year. That team could win that division. Tight I mean, division. that running back core is not good. It's not good. No, they, I think they got guys. You as a fan could say that they're good, but they're not good. I think they got guys who are good though. They got a show. Alex good. Collins is good. I'm not saying they're great. They're not. They're not at a Le'Veon Bell level. No. But those are running backs that you could use on a, on a team. They're 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 good. Okay. What's the other division we're running down? Let's go right to uh, NFC North. I mean, Respect the chat is back, y'all. In case you didn't know, Beefcake Frank is <laughs> going off right now. Richie Lugwrench is. Popping off about the Ravens and Joe Flacco being the MVP. No, oh, not the MVP. I didn't think I did that. <laughs> Yo, we're, I said NFC. We're going AFC East. AFC East. 
Patriots, Jets, Bills, Dolphins. Patriots, Jets, Bills, Dolphins. Oh Want me to go God. first? That division is like the throw up city this year. Yeah, this, this is the, this is that's a crazy move over there. I, I mean, I, I could change it. You want you want to do no, 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 let's do that. Let's do that. It, then we'll roll right through that because we're gonna. Yeah, do this one's gonna be easy. I say it's the Patriots, right? Yep. We all consensus. Who do we got second? Jets. I got Jets. I think too. the Jets are gonna be really good. This I agree. Year. Who you got second, Frank? Yeah, Jets. I'm, I'm okay. gonna go Miami. Third? No, third. I got Buffalo. Yeah. Yeah. I think Miami. My, Miami losing juice, I think, hurts them. Yeah. And but I don't think they use Kenyon Drake enough. If What's his name? Just, they got a good run game. I think they could be better. AJ McCarron just got hurt his right shoulder. No, he doesn't play for them. AJ McCarron for the Bills got yes, hurt. Yes. Okay. Yes. So who's gonna be the quarterback for the Bills? Josh Allen. Did you hear Jalen Ramsey? I just yeah, want. I just want to know. Yeah, Jalen. All right. So he I, said listen, Josh I, Allen stinks. I respect. So him. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna respect what he said. He yeah. said that listen, everyone stinks. He right. said Joe. He Joe said Joe Flacco stinks. <laughs> I mean, he was right about uh, that. Yeah, and Eli. And also, your boy Matt Ryan about that. is overrated. Yes. What about that? Yeah, yeah I agree with everything James Ramsey said. Actually. <laughs> he said that Dak stuck. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He said Dak is okay. No, he he said he's all right. Yeah. Yo, he said he's all right. No, I don't care what he oh, said. We, he we have to sense. rank this, then we'll get back yeah. to another question. All right, all right so <laughs> that was mine. It was um, it was uh, Patriots. Only thing Jets, I had flopped is Buffalo Miami. and Miami. I, I I had Miami and Buffalo switch. Yeah. So what do you got? He also said that Blake Bortles is a good quarterback. You're playoff down quarterback. With that? Right. He's a good playoff true. quarterback. Also true. He can't he, he can't, he can't, he can't talk crap about he can't talk Yeltsin. crap about his own. Like, quarterback. Don't talk about crap about anybody else then. Definitely keep not. It, keep it real with your quarterback then. So what's your ranking? Do you you have Patriots, Jets, and then what? He has Buffalo. Buffalo and then Miami? Yeah. Or Miami Buffalo? Miami Buffalo. Alright. He's agreeing with me. That's I think crazy. Buffalo's gonna stink this year, man. No way, you're crazy. Yes. Crazy. Yo, check us out. Respect the Chat Podcast. We're on Stitcher. We're on iTunes. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. It's R-E-S-P-E-C-K-D-A-C-H-A-T. Please check us out. Just three average guys trying to make a living. Not really. We got regular jobs. So we're just trying to have some fun. Have you guys subscribe to us. Tune in. If you could listen to us, that'd be great. Listen to both our episodes. We also got a fantasy episode. And uh, holla at us, man. We're on YouTube as well. So please, R-E-S-P-E-C-K-D-A-C-H-A-T. Respect the chat.